I have spent the last several days working on a project, putting lights, tail lights, as a matter of fact, on the Challenger. You know, I really dig the Challenger. That's my favorite go-to mobility device. But it had a drawback. I thought the little reflectors that were on the deck were a little bit cheesy and not exactly the safest thing. You know, when you're riding around at night, I want people to see me when I'm coming. So I got the bright idea. I'll just put some LED lights on there. Consulted with Top Mobility. Uh, they said, yeah, it should be doable. Uh, but I realized that it's 48 volt. I had, uh, I've got 12 volt LEDs available on the market. So I had to figure out how to bridge that gap. Uh, and I filmed the process as I was doing it or as I completed each step. Um, I used all the products were purchased on Amazon. I did not receive any compensation uh, or free products. I paid for all of them. So uh, if you decide that you want to do this project, click those links down there in the bottom in the description uh, and help me pay for my investment. Thank you very much. And hey, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not so impressed, then give me a thumbs down. Hey, I'm cool either way, you know? But most important, I'm driving for 3,000 subscribers. So you guys help me out. Click that subscribe button. BB said he'd be real appreciative if you'd do that. Ziva too. Anyway, I'll show you the, the outcome. Check that out. We're all lit up. Check it out, see what you think. All right, here we are looking at the underside of the deck. I'm wrapping up the install of the LEDs and the wiring harness. Now the way that, what I did was I just took out the basic the reflectors that were mounted on four points, rear and side. Took a paddle bit and just drilled that hole out three quarter inch and I bought three quarter inch LED marker lights from Amazon link is down in the description below and they fit right into the hole nice and clean and install my wiring harness it's held in place with hot glue I want to make sure I don't have wires hanging down and flopping around. All my connections are basic, just butt splice connections and tap connections. Where I have two wires meeting end to end, I did a butt splice, and where I was tying into a straight run, I did the splice connector. Here you can see I have my waterproof plug, so I can take the whole deck off. That goes to the charging port. Now the LEDs proved, proved to be a, a time-consuming ordering process. Initially it ordered four LEDs, two red and two orange, and they were projecting out like that. One of the orange did not work. So I went back on Amazon, I ordered a couple more orange from a different supplier, and ended up sending those back because they didn't work and ordered and found just a pair of orange. And I actually like the way they look a lot better anyway. They're more rounded and smooth. More rounded and smooth. So anyway, I'm gonna finish hot gluing this in place. And then I'll show you on the chassis how I converted 48 volt down to 12 volt. That was a main concern because the 12 volt LEDs will not last very long on 48 volt DC. All right, here we're looking inside of the light and switch panel where I made connections to the headlight. So we have the red and black wire. And just used a simple snap-on 
wrap around cap connector. And I did have to make some minor adjustments because it was actually for a larger grade gauge of wire. Uh, I took the one of those pliers, squeezed it in very carefully. Be very mindful that you don't break the solder connections. And that is where I connected the waterproof plug. Although this this plug is a little it, it, it's overkill, but they came as a pair, and so that is what I used. Anyway, that's inside the switch. All right. Here we're looking at the chassis of the Challenger X scooter. I'm taking the deck off so I can show you the transformer I've installed. And one thing I wanted to point out, a few videos back when I was out riding around the lake, my battery connections had vibrated off. Thanks to a suggestion from the folks at Top Mobility, Use my hot glue gun and glued all those in place, so hopefully we won't have that happen again. So down here, I have installed a converter. This little device right here changes the voltage from 48 volts down to 12 volts. Made my connection. Once again, I used a butt splice crimp connector. And then over here on the side, you see I have my watertight connector that comes out. And that connects to the wiring harness on the deck. Now the wire for the lights I was unable to get it inside the little plastic harness, so I have just used good quality Scotch 33 electrician's tape, routed the wire down through the metal housing and up through the plastic shroud. Once again, you can see it is firmly taped in place there, and it is connected to the switch inside of the headlight switch assembly. And there you have it. That was how I put tail lights and running lights on the Challenger X. Here we are in almost complete dark. Gotta be quiet cause Yappy's asleep. But I wanted to show you how bright those lights really are. To be able to see it from a long way away. That's pretty cool. If I do say so myself. All right, hey, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was pretty pointless and useless, uh, uh, give me a thumbs up. I, I know the audio quality had some issues. I'm not exactly sure what that noise is in the background. Uh, I've done my best to minimize it. Uh, I think it has something to do with the way I was holding this camera, uh, as I've not used this camera for video work before. But hey, we'll see. I'll keep going and see what happens. But anyway, appreciate all you guys watching. Stay tuned. I'll be shooting some state park videos here pretty in the next week or two. Uh, I'm not going to have internet connection out there, so it may be a couple weeks before they're loaded, or I'll find a hot spot or, or something. But I'm still here. Bye.